today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best ways to defend trips and trip style formations in Man 24 and showing you a really good concept that you can probably carry over into almost any version, especially of next gen Madden that's going to really work well against trips tight end. Now we're going to be showing this concept out of the dollar defense, but you can really do this out of any defense where you have two safeties, pretty much every defense except for maybe goal line has that. And we're going to be on the default packages here. The only thing that you need to do from a coaching adjustments perspective is you don't have to turn auto flip off, but we're going to be pairing this with a little bit of a blitzing concept. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then uh, the only thing here is you just need to make sure there's no zone drop set and you need to make sure your zone coverage is on match. Now, if you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, we teach you everything about the defense from how to stop the run, how to get all kinds of different pressure concepts out of it, how to stop bunch tight trips, u trips, you name it. We show you how to stop it in the ebook. And if you want to get access to that, it's in the Patreon for only ten dollars. You can become a member today and get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks that will make you a better Madden player. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is going to be down in the description. We're going to be coming out in the free safety zone blitz out of the dollar three two formation, and the purpose of having auto flip off is primarily so that we can make sure we have a blitzing threat. Okay, so all we're going to do for the blitz is we're just going to pinch our D line, and um, we're going to be really leveraging the power of these safeties. Now, one little pro tip for defending trips tight end is if you man align your defense, especially if it's a zone concept, please notice how it puts the corner on the trip side of the formation, okay? That's just something like FYI, if you didn't know that, that is a thing. So if you want that corner over there, you can certainly do that. What I like to do here is I like to go ahead and press my defense, primarily because I want everybody pressed with the exception of the outside corner that is on the trip side of the formation, okay? I don't want him to be pressed, so I'm gonna individually back him off. From there, the coverage adjustments that we're going to use to really lock down trips tight end is we are going to put the outside cornerback on the trip side of the formation onto an outside quarter zone. We're going to put the safety that is blitzing on an inside quarter zone. We're going to take that seam flat defender and we're going to man him up onto the triangle receiver. And then really from there, the coverages on the, the rest of the coverages are really up to you. One of my favorite things to do is to man up the tight end on that, with that slot corner and then basically play a cover two on the right side. So it might look something like this. This is going to stop a lot of different things that people are going to try to do against you if they're running trips tight end. Okay? And the basic thing that we want to first start with is these quarter zones are going to have a matching principle to the number one and the number three receiving threats in trips formations. So the point of saying that is this outside quarter is going to match onto the number one trips receiver, which would be Michael Irvin, the most outside receiver. The safety is going to match on the inside trips receiver, which is the most important receiver in trips tied in to be able to consistently defend. So in this example here, it's gonna be on CD Lamb. And we're just gonna run the play uh, Bill's Y post and I just want to, to show you how this man coverage is going to play. So I'm going to try to throw this corner route. And you're going to see that that match coverage is going to drive on the route and almost always be able to basically take this away. So let's take a look at the replay here and kind of show you. We have this guy manned up most of the time in trips formations. He's either going to be on a streak or a flat route, most people. And then the other thing is this guy right here, if you look closely, he's actually turning and matching onto this outside streak. And then this guy is also matching on to the corner. And you see he plays that really, really well. Okay, so those are the main concepts. Now that inside quarter does not have to be from that safety position. The reason that might be significant is you might want to use this left side safety to create a cross man on the middle trips receiver because maybe you want to clap, maybe you want that seam flat, or maybe you want to put a hard flat or curl flat over there on the left. What we can then do is put this middle of the field safety into an inside quarter. So let me do, let me press. It is really important that you back off that outside corner on the right. And then now we basically get this kind of coverage defense. Now, if you're going to play this style of defense, it's actually really good. The only thing it's vulnerable against is a tight end post up the middle. 
So what you need to do is if you see the slant post concept, you have to go with the tight end. So you're kind of basically manning your own, essentially usering the tight end if he goes if he doesn't go on a corner route. If he goes on a corner route, you're not going to use for that because you have a third and a, a seam flat. But if he does not go on a corner route, then you probably are going to want to use her the tight end, at least in my experience running this defense. Now, I actually really like and probably prefer this coverage right here. And the reason why is because I can create uh, blitzing concepts out of this because what I could do is we could blitz um, if we wanted to blitz this guy on the left side. What this normally does in trips formations is it makes this a gap blitz come in a lot more consistently. Blitzing from depth is really good, and most people are completely sleeping on this uh, this year. Okay, let's talk about some other popular routes that a lot of people like to run out of trips tight end. One of those routes is this uh, real reason why we run the Bills playbook, and that is for this play wide receiver short post. Uh, this post route is really good against man coverage. It's really good against zone coverage. What you're going to see here is if they were to run a route combo like so, your match quarter on this left-hand side is going to play that really, really, really well, and most of the time is going to be able to almost lurk it and take it away. Another very popular route combination that a lot of people like to run is essentially this play verticals with a running back Texas pattern. It's probably the most difficult play, um, in my opinion, because they can do it with one hot route or less. It makes it super quick snappable and just very, very difficult to defend. Because you have the seam flat on the back side, you can put him on a curl flat if you want, and you have the seam flat on the right side. What you're basically having to do is you're going to have to take the running back. So you go to the tight end, then you go back to the running back, and as you can see, everything else is pretty much bagged. You have the bracket on the crosser. You have the tight end bracketed with the outside third and seam flat. I think the seam flat is one of the most underrated zones in the game because of how it does at defending corner routes, like these short corner routes a lot of people like to run. So this is just all, all in all, guys. It's just one of my favorite ways to defend trips tight end. Now I want to show you one last little secret with this, and it is the man alignment. So if I want to if I want to man align, the purpose of the man alignment would be I want to blitz this guy off the left side. So what we're going to do to kind of make sure that he's going to do a good job of, of doing his assignment, we're going to move him just slightly. Okay. So once we've man aligned and we move him slightly, we're going to pinch our D line, and then really the blitz is pretty much set up for us. Now we need to do our coverage adjustments. And our coverage adjustments right here is because we have a, a lot of help to the left side, we're actually going to play a cover two on the right-hand side. And then we're going to inside quarter that safety. We're going to man up on that middle trips receiver there. And then you can either leave that outside third if you want or back him off and put him in outside quarter. And what you'll see here is just a little bit more aggressive style of defense for trips tight end, but you're going to get much better pressure. And if they try to send five out at you, the pressure is going to scream. And as you can see, there's really nothing available to them quickly. This is the quarter man quarter concept out of trips tight end. Super effective. Been really good for a couple of years now. Um, and the cool part about this is you can actually create a lot of really good uh, blitzing concepts out of this because it gives you a lot of people, a lot of different types of players, your slot corners, your linebackers, all those players are able to be blitzed against this formation. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful in teaching how to defend trips tight end really as best as you possibly can. And also, uh, hopefully this video taught you a little bit about how you can use different alignments to give yourselves different options in terms of pressures and coverage co coverage concepts in the back end of that. But this can this concept can apply to really any three by one formation. That inside quarter is always going to guard number three. The outside quarter is always going to guard number one. And then you're left to kind of man up that middle trips receiver if you want him to be taken away. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get access to my full dollar three two defensive ebook, I think it's the best defense of the game hands down. I think it continues to get better and better and better better um, as really just as we find different blitzes for this as we just uh, as we make it better step by step but this defense is super super effective if you want to take your Madden game to the next level I'd really encourage you to join the Patreon the link to sign up for that is going to be in the description it's only ten dollars to sign up it'll get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks so thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page